real quick, just to recap, ladies and gentlemen, if I give you a set of zeros, all right, if I give you a set of zeros, uh, then what I'm asking you to do is write the polynomial. So when given a set of zeros, is what you need to do is write them as our factors. So what I like to do is just kind of work them backwards and say x minus 0 equals 0, x minus 2 equals 0, and x minus 4 equals 0. Now, I've noticed a lot of you guys said, you know, that you could write that as x squared or x to the fourth. And you can. It doesn't matter. x equals 0 could be anything. You could have x to the fifth equals 0, right? Because if you still take the fifth root on both sides, you'll still have 0. That's only going to change the degree of the polynomial. And I didn't specify what degree of a polynomial I asked for. Um, so therefore, really, if you had a different x to a different power, that was OK. But now, ladies and gentlemen, when we write these as factors equal to 0, we got that because we applied the zero product property. And the zero product property said that we can take our factors when multiplied equal to 0. But we only set it equal to 0 when we said find the zeros. We are given a polynomial, we factor them, we set it equal to 0 so we can find the zeros. But we're given the zeros, we want to find the polynomial. So I'm going to write in what is f of x. Right? We want to find out what the polynomial function is. Now, x minus 0 is nice when you want to determine the multiplicity, but I think it's a little bit easier just to say x minus 0 is the same thing as x, right? So then, you can do it either way. You guys can do distributive property first if you'd like to. So you have x squared minus 2x times x minus 4 equals f of x. And then you can apply FOIL. I like to apply the box method um, just because it's very organized. So when applying the box method, x times x squared is x cubed. x times negative 2x is negative 2x squared. x squared times negative 4x is a negative 4x squared. Negative 4 times negative x is a positive 8x. These are the same like terms. Therefore, my final polynomial is going to be f of x equals x cubed. Negative 4x plus negative um, 2x is going to be negative 6x squared plus 8x. That marker is that. Okay, and that's how you write your polynomial. Just follow through those steps. Now, the other problem, as I showed you, I did, but.